If I'm becoming a doctor, they were working with a 2017 report that uh, put the number of people living with HIV AIDS at 3.2 million. Um, would this survey, or do we already know the the rate, the increasing rate, or de or the decreasing rate of number of people living with HIV AIDS? Do we already know that, or would this survey help us to sort that out going forward? Right. So this survey will help us to set um, that out, to set the new baseline going forward. Um, from this survey, we will now have um, a, better, a better estimate of the number of people that have HIV AIDS in Nigeria uh, or are living with HIV AIDS in Nigeria and the number of people that are getting HIV each year and the number of people that are on treatment and are doing well on treatment. Um, as I said earlier, uh, this number is really very important. It's important for planning. It's important uh, for the donor agencies that are supporting the government of Nigeria um, with uh, HIV AIDS program. Um, it's also important um, uh, for management of HIV in our system because we, if we have the number of people that are infected and affected, going forward planning in terms of the resource government now will earmark um, to push for HIV management you know will be clearly indicated and that will guide our management of HIV going forward in Nigeria. Okay Dr. Nzelu the the big figures we have currently 3.2 um, we also have the figure that says just about 1.2 are on treatment. Why is that so? Um, how would this change with this survey? Uh, yes, it's going to change with the survey uh, because um, if I give you a bit uh, of the background, uh, this uh, 3.2 million we are quoting is extrapolated from the survey that was conducted in NAS 2012, which gave a prevalence of uh, 3.4. And when you translate it, uh, uh, it comes to about 3.2 million people and then just another one we did the called Sentinel, Sentinel survey, which gave a prevalence of about 3%. So uh, what this survey, this current survey will help us to do is that um, we need data for planning. And there is no way we can conjure the data without actually using science to find out uh, what is happening. So this survey is going to help us to be able to find out the number of people who are living with HIV. It's going to tell us the number that are on treatment, and then those ones who are not on treatment, this survey is also going to help us to find out. A statistics is going to help us to project them, because this is going to be an estimation. So that's why the survey is uh, very important. It's going to actually help us to get data so that when we plan, we'll find out, actually, do we say we have 1.2 million people on treatment, do we have less? Do we have more? All these things will be unedited when, when we do this survey. Would it be right then to say that the data we have now is wrong? Uh, we can certainly say that the data we have now is wrong. But I gave you an example. I said that this survey was done last in NASA 2012. That's six years about, ago. Uh, six years ago. The ANC was conducted in 2014. And of course, you know that every year people are dying, we are giving birth to new people. So uh, even people on treatment, some people will die even not related to HIV, because even though they are HIV positive, and so on and so forth. So at a certain point in time, we need to redefine the epidemic of what is happening in Nigeria. So okay. we cannot say that essentially what we have before is wrong, but it's important that as time goes on, we keep on evaluating. So to be sure that what we have is the correct figures. Okay, Dr. Aliu, this report we're, we're talking about here was done in 2017. But from it, we also understand that at least 66% of Nigerians living with the disease are not even aware that they are living with the disease. So I ask this question, who is to participate in this survey? Right. So this survey covers age range from 0 to 64 years. Um, individuals who are 15 years uh, of age to 64 
um, will be approached at, at household level in all households. Um, but those ones that are 0 to 14 years, we will only pick them in one out of um, every four household, every fourth household. So uh, these are the age range. Uh, this is the age range that will participate 0 to 14 years as well as 15 to 64 years. Mm. Would it be generally or are there specific areas you've been looking at? You, I know you said you pick one out of four, but are there a particular state or are you going around the country at once or you want, want to take it? Are you going to break it into phases? Right. So the way science is done is that um, when, you are, when you are doing studies of this nature, you make it representative. So it's going to be uh, all over the country, but um, using representative sample. What, what do I mean by representative sample? We are, taking, uh, we are making equal size allocation in all states, uh, which means we are looking at um, almost equal number of people to test in all states. And because it is going to be household based, um, we're looking at households. So almost equal or close to equal number of households, um, depending on number of households, uh, number of individuals per households, which we know it varies from state to state. So we will use that number. We have already used, uh, we have already estimated, we have already um, um, calculated, and uh, we have the numbers with us. The number of um, households we will, be visiting, we will be visiting in each state, and the number of individuals we're estimating to test or to approach and um, um, have this test done on them in each state. How would the survey team be identified? And I want to assume that it is free. Right. So this survey is um, this survey is test test in this survey are, are free, and our uh, workers or staff or um, individuals that are conducting this survey will be identified by their um, IDs. There will be identification cards, and as well as our logos and t-shirts that we have and face calves and um, other things that will follow us. So before we go into a locality or a society where this thing will be conducted, there will be an advanced team. And this advanced team is basically going there to inform um, the society or uh, individuals in the community that we are coming and when we come, this is what we will be doing and we seek their cooperation, we seek their assistance, we seek their understanding, especially the community gatekeepers, the religious leaders, uh, the traditional leaders, and um, uh, the important individuals who have impact in the community. We will have meetings with them, our people will answer questions, and we will make sure that they are comfortable and they understand what we are doing before we come into the locality or community to meet uh, uh, their people at uh, their individual houses. Okay, we're, we're beginning to wind down. Uh, Dr. Nzelu, um, when is this survey going to start and um, for how long? Okay, this survey is um, earmarked to start somewhere in June, uh, probably after the middle of June. We are looking at um, um, 18th of June. So from 18th of June up until December, uh, we will be all over the country um, uh, approaching individuals at the community level, at the household level, um, and uh, having this discussion with them, making them understand, and um, uh, conducting this study at the household level. Yeah. Okay. What about the question of privacy and then connection to care where the need arises? Would that be guaranteed? Right. Uh, privacy and confidentiality are fundamental aspects of this survey. Um, we are currently conducting training here in Abuja, and we have staff or trainees from all over the country. And this is one area that we are particularly um, uh, interested in making sure that our participants, our trainees understand the implication of privacy and confidentiality as far okay. as HIV AIDS is concerned. All right, thank you um, very much. The last time I spoke with them, oh, uh, the last Dr. time Ali, I spoke with them, I think I made this. Dr. Right. Ali, I'm afraid we'll have to.
say thank you at this point. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we have to go. Dr. Charles Nzelu is a Deputy Director in the Federal Ministry of Health and Dr. Gamboa Liu, Chief of National AIDS Indicator and Impact Survey Consortium. Thank you both for sharing your thoughts. Sunrise Daily will be back in a moment, but just to let you know that the wedding in Windsor, the real wedding is taking, is building up momentum. Uh, David Beckham and his wife and some other guests have already arrived and as we told you earlier Idis Elba and others are there as well. Remember all broadcasts after sunrise to the world. Please don't go. We'll be back in a moment.